Hello! I am still working on the game schedule project. I'm going to show you what's new since the last video. If you downloaded required files in the past, you'll now be prompted to auto-update efforts and after that auto-update resource CPP, but only for the base game. For mods, you get resource via download mods in the server options or manually with the OFP aspect ratio package. The most important change is that game schedule is now in Russian. Translation was done by Mew, thank you very much. Most of the website, all in-game options and messages from the installer are translated. To make it work, you install Russian patch, modify string table to work with FWatch, and change language in the configuration file. Unicode Cyrillic is converted to Windows 1251 Cyrillic. If your game is not in Russian, then the text will be transliterated to Latin, roughly. You can now log into the website with Steam, Discord, VK and Facebook. Thanks to Rojek for making that last one possible. Using Steam Overlay you can make adjustments while playing and they'll be visible as soon as you press on the schedule button. Main page on the website shows you servers with upcoming games, all available mods and recent activity. There's an RSS feed you can subscribe to. You can now link to the server information page. In the server edit page, I've removed short name field for simplicity. Now only server address is required. IP and password are encrypted, so that the only way to connect is through the in-game menu. Game schedule is now compatible with 2.0.1 version of the game. You can link to your voice server. If it's TeamSpeak 3 or Mumble, you will automatically connect to it when joining a server. Discord and Steam do not support auto-connect, but you can still add an invite link. You can now upload PAA image as the server logo. Mod selector was improved. As you can see, I've added a bunch of mods to the site. They are divided into four types. Mods that modify original game files, those that don't, extensions of other mods, and mission packs. In the mod folder settings, I've added option to force original folder name. Installation scripts now support backup download links. Write slash mirror after the URL. Files can now be downloaded from the Google Drive, ModDB, Mediafire and Gamefront. Link has to be in a special format, which is a bit complicated so I've added a converter. You can now add notes for each mod patch. They will appear on the mod folder page. You can navigate in-game menu with a keyboard. Right arrow to choose option and left arrow to go back. FWatch now detects custom files exactly like the game does so custom face texture doesn't count if it's not selected, face above 100 kilobytes and sounds above 50 kilobytes are ignored. Added button View Change Log, which links to the mod folder page. Installer now displays progress in the form of installation steps. Previously, Missions in the mod folders 
were handled by an external program. Now the functionality has been built into the efforts and made mandatory. This way everyone loads the briefing immediately, so you can start the game much faster. Game Rester program is launched a bit differently now, to avoid conflicts with Steam. If you host a dedicated server, you can install mods remotely using a special mission. Download you'll find on the website. Schedule can be downloaded in JSON format so that you can display servers and mods on your own web page. Website source code is now on GitHub, so that other people can host their own game schedules. Seeing the games by disaster, I've scripted from the start the possibility to download info from multiple sources. And that's all the changes. I'm going to continue working on the project. I'd like to implement file verification, to ensure every player has the same files, as well as to protect against the most obvious forms of cheating. Thank you for watching, see you next time.